Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are going to fit some Lucchese boots. These came earlier today. I'm very excited about these. Lucchese Clint 10.5D, that's my size in Allen Edmonds, which is made in Wisconsin, and Rancourt, which is made in Maine, representing El Paso, Texas here. We have Lucchese boots. So this is just a fitting. I'm prepared, almost expecting to send these back for sizing. I'm 41 years old. I've tried on lots of boots, and generally when I try on a Lucchese boot, the 10 and a half fit. I think once in, um, I was trying some on, and I think the 10s fit a little bit better, so we're going to have to find out. I'm not going to hesitate to send these back. The box that they came in did not have return shipping labels, they just had an invoice here. And <laughs> when these came, we were, I was in the middle of cooking dinner, so I didn't get a chance to try them on. So I'm excited to try them on right now. Earlier today I was wearing some Allen Edmonds. You can see them right here. Just took these off a few hours ago. Um, some Allen Edmonds Sixth Avenue shoes. And I wear a 10 and a half in Allen Edmonds. So for fitting, that might help. Some of you it might not. For Nike shoes, I wear a 10 and a half and they're pretty snug. Sometimes I wear 11. So let's put those aside. And let's open this up. I'm excited. So the Clint's are one of the less expensive models and oh, oh my goodness they're beautiful can you see these so this tissue paper right here was just folded over like this right and it seemed like an innocuous thing and i fold this over to reveal this amazing boot and the smell you can just it just really hits you it's just such a fun experience opening this up so let's have a look here and see what we're looking at there is a shaft protector in here in a lovely bag. Let me make sure it's the right size here. Pull this out. 10 and a half D. Lucchese tag on that right there. Let's put that right there. And we have the other one right here. Let's move this out of the way. Lucchese. Bootmaker, 18, since 1883. And then here we go. So with anything handmade, as these they claim these are made, handmade, you expect some asymmetry. So I have, you, you, maybe I'll show in a future video, I have some handmade wooden furniture. And when you get to handmade tailoring and handmade woodworking and handmade leather work, you're going to see some asymmetry, some imperfections, some things that you'll be able to spot. And it's like a fingerprint, right? And to me, I love that. When there's like a certain knot in a wood, right? Like an imperfection in a gemstone. It just is something that really gives it character. So looking at these straight off the bat, I don't notice anything I'm going to look, have a look at these real quick and then I'm going to spin these around so you can see what I'm looking at here. But I'm not seeing any, any asymmetries at the moment. I do see some imperfections here around the leather, the decorative leather cutting. It's just a little thicker in some places than in others, which I really like. It goes back to the, these are going to be handmade. Beautiful, beautiful boot. So. For $4.25, that's what this retails for. And by the way, I paid for these with my own money. These were not sent to me, they're not free. I actually paid for these with my own money so, because I'm genuinely looking for boots. The cording on here is just beautiful. I love the stitching, they did such a good job with this. All right, it's a fitting. Let's get down to the fit. 10 and a half D, 10 and a half D, matching pair, looking down on them. They look really good. The antiquing is a little bit different which we would expect, but the embroidering is actually very, very consistent. So see how they fit. Um, <laughs> they might have to go back. So right now I'm just wearing some gold toe, lovely Argyle socks. Like I said, I was wearing my Allen Edmonds earlier today. So we'll see, we'll, we'll see. There's a uh, cardboard, I forgot to pull those out. So we'll pull those out in the box. Lovely. Lovely. All right. So here we go. 
and immediately they don't fit. Here, let's see what we can do here. There we go. Oh, that felt good. I'm gonna drape this here in a second. But wow, let me feel this. So what I'm feeling for in fit is my left foot is a little bit shorter and wider than my right foot. And so right now, sitting down, um, I can feel a little bit of heel slip, but it is pretty snug um, through the vamp. So I'm not feeling a lot of space here, and it feels really good around here. And there's, some, there's plenty of space out here by my toes. So it actually feels pretty good on my left foot. Like I said, my left foot's a little bit shorter than my right foot. Mm, it's pretty close to a perfect fit. Uh, it's pretty tight around here, though. I'm interested to see how my right foot, which is longer and more narrow, feels in this boot. All right, let's have a look here. Oh, see, now that might be a perfect fit right there. So again, there's very little, very little space right here. A little bit more on my right foot than my left foot. I'm going to drape my pants here. I'm just wearing some Dickies work pants here. Nothing special. And so what I'm looking for is how much wrinkle we're going to get. Ooh, that feels pretty good. My left heel is very snug right here. There's hardly any movement. It might move um, may, maybe half an inch. And then my right heel feels more normal, what I, what I would expect from a cowboy boot. Moves about an inch, a little less than an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. Just um, walking around right here. So the right, my, the right boot right here feels like how I want it to fit. This left boot is <laughs> a little tight. However, I suspect these will break in nicely. They sure have a very nice, simple, elegant look to them. Something that I think I'll be very happy with. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with the fit, actually. I was prepared to send these back, but I'm gonna take a little stroll around the house here in the carpet and see how they feel, and I will report back to you. When you try on a new pair of boots, lots of times people say you should have a boot jack, a way to remove your boot in case it's really, really, really tight. And these are not that tight. So I suspect I should be able to pull these off pretty easily. My sock is coming off too. Ugh. Pretty easily. So this was the tight fitting boot and it came off beautifully. So the right one fits really well and it should just slide off. Yeah, just did. So I'm very happy with these. I'm going to keep these. They don't need to be sent back for resizing. Lucchese boot maker. Look at those lovely soles. So these are going in my collection. I'm very happy, very pleased with the quality of these boots. Yeah, so I, so stay tuned, subscribe. You'll see more of these boots. I have some update videos that I just need to make. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you enjoy this. Let me know your thoughts about the Lucchese Clints. These are going to serve me well, I think. Very happy with them. Thank you for watching. My name is John Hopkins.